Hi guys, Dane here, and welcome to my July 2018 book haul. So, I've actually already filmed some bits because I forgot to shoot the intro. So, we're jumping around through time a bit here. But anyway, let's look at some books and stuff. Let's go. Alright, uh, I have a, a quick little parcel. This is from Sunrise Books. This is from where I went shopping and decided to, to do some buying. Well, this is The Road Ahead by Bill Gates. I wasn't expecting it to be published by Penguin, to be honest. But um, yeah, this is going to pretty much go straight on my bedside reading, what's name. So, uh, but yeah, I do want to get to this at some point. It's just very tiny print and I'm sure it's going to be quite in depth. So, uh, 10 pages a night in bed, I think, on this one. Once I finish reading my Richard Dawkins book. The Postman came. Yay. So this is Stephen King, The Backman books. And this is from when he was writing as Richard Backman. And um, yeah. This has got Rage, The Long Walk, Road Work, and The Running Man. And I have read The Running Man, I think, but I don't have the others. So I'm ex No, I definitely have read The Running Man. I recognise it already. And one of them is obviously Rage, which is like no longer being printed and published and stuff. So I'm quite happy with that. Stephen King, The Batman Books. So you'll never guess what. Some more posts arrived. So this is a book that I've been sent. It's called The Library of Trinity College Dublin by Harry Corey Wright. And it's got an introduction and it's basically actually uh, a photo book so trinity college library dublin you probably recognize this library and this is literally a photo book so there are some books there so it's just a bunch of photos of the library it's just somebody asked me if i'd be interested and i was like uh yes please so it's got a few quotes in it's got a little introductory essay about the library and stuff and then it's just book porn, basically. It's just all of the book porn. All right, I have this, which has been delivered. Oh, it's bought from Create Space. Oh, that's very exciting. So this will be my advanced copy. So this is my proof copy of Netflix and Kill, which is Lightfold Book 2. Look at that, beautiful. Now, technically, I'm not supposed to share the cover yet. However, I can do the cover at the moment, um, I can do this fine because by the time I release this video the cover reveal will have happened. So I see for example this is where I look for any uh, little issues. So for example we're going to want to move the bio and the blurb across because I don't know if you can see that there. Where it starts over here it goes over that little foldy line look so we're gonna fix that so yeah book number two netflix and kill how exciting all right some more stuff came in the post so this is exciting let's begin with this how, how to get in my hay fever's playing up today it's not good hi dane thanks very much for taking this on all the best kathy okay so this is published by Unbound, and they published Stephen Colgan, and uh, one of my friends is trying to get published with them as well. I might submit myself at some point. This is called The Wrongan by Catherine Evans. Yeah, it just sounded interesting to me. It sounds like it's got a bit of a northerny sense of humour. From their sleepy working class backwater, the siblings break into Oxford Academia, London's high life, the glossy world of magazine publishing, and the stratospheric riches of New York's hedge funds. Well, there we go. And then I also have this little package. Margaret Atwood, alias Grace. And um, yeah, I mean, I just really enjoyed The Handmaid's Tale when I read it, so I wanted to read more Atwood. And I figure if I read alias Grace, then uh, I can watch the, the Netflix series or whatever as well. And then I also got a graphic novel. I got El Defo by C.C. Bell because I've just heard good things about this. I think this did the rounds on Booktube years ago when like I was first getting into watching it. So, um, yeah, well, copyright 2014, so that sounds about right. So it probably was, probably did hear this on uh, Booktube. So yeah, I just thought that would be an interesting one. So those are a few that I bought for myself. Lovely. Hello, hello. I only have a very quick one single parcel-y thing for today. This is from Thrift Books. Oh, shoot. I think this has been posted internationally. It has. It's been posted internationally. Can't get in. Okay, this is Guy Kawasaki, The Macintosh Way. Uh, Kawasaki is a, like a thought leader. This is actually one of his older books, I believe. 
copyright 1990. But it will be interesting to kind of see, I guess, how how the uh, you know how the Apple Macintosh was evolved. And uh, Kawasaki is, as well as being like a marketing and business thought leader now, he was also like chief evangelist for Apple at one point. So he is a man who should know a lot about about Macintoshes. So yeah, chutzpa. Okay, it's been a few days since my last uh, haul update. But we went to a car boot sale, and I, actually there's some footage of it in my uh, reading vlog. I might link to that below if I remember, I don't know. But anyway, at this car boot sale, I picked up a bunch of cheap books. So, here is what I got. Okay, so we'll start with this one. This is Richard III, The Oxford Shakespeare. And this has like a 100 page long introductory essay. Uh, 130 pages, actually. Which I'm like, I don't... I don't know, maybe I'll read it. But it has this inscription in the front which is quite cool as well, so I'm going to read it out. It says, January 2011, Dear Daniel, this is not so you can have a copy for directing, indeed you may want to keep this nice. It is to represent how much I believe in you and the wonderful plays you will go on to create, whether on the new theatre stage or even more exciting venues in your very bright future. When you gave me a portrait, you said that the best gift you can give someone is a novel. Whilst this isn't quite a novel, I hope that equal value can be attached to it and all the wonderful things about you it represents. May this be the continuation of those wonderful things. All my love, Nell. I don't know, that's just quite cool. And I'm slowly trying to work through Shakespeare. Then I've got Little Miss Bad by Roger Hargreaves, one of the Mr. Men books. Obviously, this is a Little Miss book. I just thought it'd be nice to relive some of my childhood. F. Scott Fitzgerald, Babylon Revisited, and this is a, a promotional copy, not for resale, but uh, very cool. Then this is Neil Gaiman with illustrations by Chris Riddell, fortunately The Milk. It says ridiculously best-selling author on it, wow. Yeah, I, I don't know, I've heard of this one, but I don't know much about it, so I thought it'd be interesting to check it out. Then I've got this little cookery book, What's Cooking Vegetarian. This has no author name, it's just published by Paragon Press. And finally, uh, for £3, which is about $5, and actually they only wanted £2, but I gave them a little bonus, I got these, this is the Treasury of Children's Classics. So it has Alice in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll, Robinson Crusoe by Daniel Defoe, Peter Pan by J.M. Barry, Wizard of Oz by L. Frank Baum, Treasure Island by Robert Louis Stevenson, and Black Beauty by Anna Sewell. And they're all in these like really beautiful editions as well. I have read some of these before, and I do, do already own some of these in this edition. Hello! I have books! In fact, I should probably just film the outro to my haul at this point as well, because I think it's pretty much... It's pretty much the end of the month. It's the end of the month tomorrow, and I don't think I'm expecting any more books. For some reason, World of Books <laughs> sent me all these books in separate packaging. But oh well, let's go through these and see what I have ordered. Okay, so here we have Just Kids by Patty Smith, which uh, if Chrissy Books and Berries is watching this, I'm sure she'll be very excited. I think I discovered this book through her channel, and. I mean, I've seen Patty Smith perform live, so I feel like uh, I don't know why I said Patty, Patty Smith. Oh, somebody walking past and talking to a phone. She was like literally walking past, just going like, beep, 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 beep. Um, yeah, weird mood today. Anyway, Patty Smith. What else we got? What's this? This is Scroobius Pip Poetry in Emotion. So this is the illustrated words of Scroobius Pip. So he is like a rapper. Oh, that is actually really cool. Very cool. This is really cool. So if you're a fan of Scroobius Pip, then it's worth checking out. He also does his podcast, uh, so, you know. Yeah, he's, calls, he's a poet, spoken word artist, slash rapper. He does a bit of everything. And here we have Graham Greene, The Little Horse Bus. So this is by Graham Greene, one of my favourite authors. I'm slowly going through all of his books. I've recently read The Little Train and The Little Fire Engine. So now we're on the little horse bus. Yeah. So this is a classic, a Penguin 20th Century classic. This is Ralph Ellison, Invisible Man. I really enjoyed Ralph Ellison in the Penguin Mini Moderns, and I've been wanting to read some more of his stuff. Invisible Man is his most famous book. So uh, yeah, seemed like a no-brainer there. And last but not least, oh yeah, I forgot I ordered this. 
This is Lucy Crookshanks, aka Lucy from Bookaxe, and this is The Road to Rangoon. So this is the second book in her series, and uh, yeah, this one is a little bit of a battered copy. I've got it used. I'm sorry, Lucy. I thought I'd take the used copies off the market rather than pay full price and increase the number of sales you actually have. It's free publicity. It's free publicity. We're fine. Anyway, on that note, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these. Also, if you want to buddy read any of them with me, then we can probably set that up. Hit subscribe for more if you're new here, and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.